You've got backups of your favorite PlayStation 2 games and you want to play them through your USB storage. Well, with the power of free McBoot and the open PS2 loader, we're about to make that happen. Stick around, you're about to learn something new. The first thing you'll need is a free McBoot memory card. It allows your PlayStation 2 to boot to a custom operating system. I have this one linked for you in the video description. You'll also need a compatible USB drive. I love these SanDisk Ultra Fit drives. They're fast and inexpensive, and I also have them linked for you in the video description. Most USB drives today are already pre-formatted in XFAT format, and the PlayStation 2 uses the traditional FAT32 system. Since Windows no longer supports formatting large volume drives in FAT32, you'll need a tool like the GUI format shown here to accomplish this. It's linked for you in the video description. Through testing, I found the best way to deal with GUI format is to get it out of the downloads folder and drag and drop it directly onto the desktop and run it from there. Once you have it copied over, you can delete the copy from your downloads folder. You can also close the open instance of File Explorer from here. You'll need to make note of the drive letter for the USB drive you intend to use. Go ahead and insert it into your computer and make note of the drive letter shown inside the File Explorer window. As you can see in this example, it's drive letter G, but your drive letter may be different. Once you verify your drive letter, you'll need to close this instance of File Explorer and any other open windows of File Explorer before proceeding. Cool, now you're ready to format your drive in FAT32 format. You can double click on the executable file on your desktop, or if you have administrative access, I recommend running the program as an administrator. At the UAC confirmation window that appears, click on yes to continue. Okay, slow your roll here for just a minute and take a look at the top left corner of the GUI format interface. The default drive letter selected by GUI format might not match your USB drive letter. If it doesn't, click the drop down and choose the correct drive letter from the list of choices. To begin the formatting process, navigate down to start in the bottom right corner and click on it. Then at the confirmation window that appears, click on OK to continue. Your drive will now be formatted in FAT32 format. Excellent. Once the process is complete, you can click on close in the bottom right corner to close out the GUI format software. As a quick reminder, just make sure to close any instances of File Explorer before running GUI format. Next up, let's get your games copied over to your newly formatted USB drive. I have a folder pre-staged on my computer called Demo, and I have a couple of ISO files saved there for this purpose. I'll put this folder on the left side of the screen. I'm going to remove the USB drive and just simply reinsert it so that it will pop open a File Explorer window for it. I'm going to position this File Explorer window on the right side. You'll need to create a new folder on the root of the USB drive. So right click, pick New, and then pick Folder. Yeah, I know we're copying games over to this USB drive, but you'll need to name this folder DVD in all caps. Now all you have to do is just grab your ISO files and drag and drop them directly into the DVD folder. A quick note here while these files are being copied over. FAT32 has a maximum file size capacity of 4 gigabytes, so if you have backup ISOs of your games that you want to play and they're larger than the 4 gigabyte maximum for FAT32, you'll need to have these files split. I have a link in this video's description to show you how that's done. Now that your game files are copied over, you can close out any instances of File Explorer, remove the USB drive from your computer and plug it into your PS2, plug in your favorite PS2 controller, and insert the free McBoot memory card into the memory card slot on your PS2. When you power on your console, you'll be greeted with the free McBoot logo and taken to the free McBoot main menu. Use your controller to scroll through the list of choices until you find a listing for OPL or the Open PS2 Loader. Select it with the X button to continue. Depending upon how OPL is configured on your free McBoot card, you may see a message that you don't have a hard drive installed on your system. That's no problem. Also depending upon your configuration, you may have Circle or X, one or the other, as Select and Back. Since this setup has X for Back and Circle for Forward, I'll just use that terminology here. So I'm going to press X to go back to the main menu. You'll need to check some key settings inside OPL to make sure things work correctly. Make sure the highlight is set to Settings and press Circle to continue. From inside settings, scroll the highlight down to the listing that says USB device start mode. I recommend changing this setting from automatic to manual. This will give you the flexibility to manually choose the storage device you want to use to find your games. For example, if you add a hard drive or other storage device to your system. Okay, once you've made the settings change, move the highlight down to OK and press the circle button to select it. This will take you back to the main menu. To access your games on your storage device, press the X button to go back. And sure enough, your games will be waiting there for you, ready to play off your USB drive. By the way, if you don't have a free McBoot card yet, check out the video shown on screen and linked in the video description and pinned comment to find out more about the one featured in this video.